Hello Cloudflare user! Today we're going to show you a new, easier way to switch to Quick Cloud. Traditionally, to set up a domain that's managed or registered in Cloudflare, you would need to perform all of the setup steps manually. This includes backing up and modifying existing Cloudflare DNS records, adding new ones, and enabling Quick Cloud CDN. If any of these steps are not done correctly, the domain could become inaccessible. Luckily, we here at QuickCloud have built a tool that simplifies this. It's called Cloudflare Integration, and it allows Cloudflare users to try QuickCloud CDN with no risk. Plus, it does all of the DNS setup for you. Let's take a look at the requirements for using this new tool, talk about some of the benefits, and demonstrate how to use it. Let's start with the requirements. In order to use Cloudflare integration, you will need the following. A domain where the DNS is managed by Cloudflare, a WordPress site on that domain, and the Lightspeed Cache plugin for WordPress installed, activated, and configured. If you need help with this step, we have a video. You can find a link to that in the description. So why is Cloudflare integration better than setting up Quick Cloud manually? The biggest benefit is automatic DNS updates. Quick Cloud makes all DNS changes on your behalf, anytime one is required. And because all updates are backed up, it's easy to change your mind if you decide Quick Cloud CDN is not for you. We'll reverse all DNS changes and put everything back to the way it was before. Lastly, since we can update your DNS on your behalf, this gives us the ability to generate a wildcard SSL certificate before pointing your DNS to QuickCloud. In other words, when we enable QuickCloud CDN, SSL coverage will already be in place. There is no coverage gap like you would have if you chose a manual configuration. Now, we're ready to get started, but before we do, let's do a baseline performance test. We'll run another one after QuickCloud is enabled so you can see the difference. For this test, we'll use our qc-example.com domain, which is configured with a basic Cloudflare setup. We'll use the GT Metrics Performance Testing site to see how long this site takes to load. To follow along with your own domain, go to gtmetrics.com, enter your domain in the input box, and click Test Your Site. On the summary page, take a look at the speed visualization metrics and make note of the fully loaded time metric. For our example, this is 2.2 seconds. After we've gotten Quick Cloud CDN running on your site, we will run this test again and see whether the metric has improved. There are three things you need to do to get started with Quick Cloud CDN. Pair your WordPress site with Quick Cloud, create a Quick Cloud account if you don't already have one, and enable Cloudflare integration. We already have videos which explain the first two steps, so we won't go into much detail here. If you need help with these steps, please see the links in the description. Step 1. Pair WordPress and Quick Cloud. To pair WordPress with QuickCloud, visit your WordPress dashboard and navigate to Lightspeed Cache, then General. Click the Request Domain Key button. While you wait for that to generate, navigate to Lightspeed Cache, then CDN. Set QuickCloud CDN to On, and click Save. Step 2. Create a QuickCloud account. To create a QuickCloud account, go back to Lightspeed Cache, then General, and click the Link to QuickCloud button. Follow the prompts to create a new account or log into an existing account. Step 3. Cloudflare integration. Now we can use Cloudflare integration to easily finish the rest of the setup. During the last step, you logged into your my.quick.cloud dashboard. You should now be on a screen that lists your Quick Cloud domains. If this is your first time logging in, there will be only one domain. Select it and click CDN. Click Enable CDN. This will open a prompt where you can select your configuration method. Choose I'm switching from Cloudflare, but I want to continue using it for DNS and confirm your choice. In order to automate your DNS configuration, QuickCloud needs a Cloudflare API token. Open your Cloudflare dashboard and click My Profile, then API Tokens. Click Create Token. On the API Token Template section, click the Use Template button next to the Edit Zone DNS option. On the Create Token page, set the permissions to edit. Select your domain and click the Continue to Summary button. Click Create Token. Then click the Copy button to add the token to your clipboard. Return to your Quick Cloud dashboard, paste the API token into the Cloudflare API token field, and click Continue. Quick Cloud will verify that the API token is valid, and if no errors are encountered, you will see three messages which indicate that the API Connect is verified and Cloudflare integration has been turned on, Cloudflare integration created some backup records in your DNS zone, and Cloudflare integration removed a record that is no longer needed. If you'd like to see what QuickCloud has done, you can return to your Cloudflare account and navigate to DNS, then Records. You will see a new CNAME record that points to QuickCloud. You will also notice that the A record for your domain has been updated and QC Backup has been prepended to the value. 
Please do not delete these records. They are maintained by the Cloudflare integration and will be used to restore your original settings if necessary. Back at QuickCloud, you can take a look at how the setup is progressing. To see this in action, click CDN, then DNS status. When you added your Cloudflare API token to QuickCloud, we immediately began generating a wildcard SSL certificate and setting up QuickCloud for your use. At first, this is your QuickCloud CDN and DNS status. CDN bypassed, DNS not verified, SSL certificate missing. Let's go to dnschecker.org to see what this looks like. Enter your domain, set the record type to A, and click search. You'll probably notice that your DNS is still resolving to the origin server IP address, and not to a QuickCloud node IP at this point. Return to QuickCloud and click refresh status, and within two minutes you should see the following status. CDN in use, Cloudflare integration enabled, DNS verified, SSL certificate is valid. You can visit dnschecker.org once again to verify this. You will notice that it is now resolving to the QuickCloud CDN IP addresses. And that's it! QuickCloud CDN is now serving your site through its global network. To summarize, by enabling Cloudflare integration and giving QuickCloud access to your domain's Cloudflare API token, you simplify the configuration process and make it possible for QuickCloud to do some handy things, such as back up existing DNS records for your QuickCloud domain, point the DNS to QuickCloud so you don't have to do it manually, generate a wildcard SSL certificate and enable the CDN with no gap in SSL coverage, update your DNS whenever you add a domain alias or change your www and non-ww settings, and update your DNS when you turn QuickCloud CDN on or off. We could stop here, but let's do another performance test and also show you how easy it is to disable QuickCloud if you change your mind. The second performance test is done in exactly the same way as the first. Visit the GT Metrics website, enter your domain, and click the Test Your Site button. For our qc-example.com domain, the fully loaded time metric now comes in at 986 milliseconds. That's a great improvement over the original 2.2 second load time from before QuickCloud was enabled. If you decide that QuickCloud CDN is not for you, it's easy to set everything back the way it was. Navigate to the CDN config area for your domain on the QuickCloud dashboard, and click the Disable CDN link. All of the changes that QuickCloud made to your DNS configuration using your Cloudflare API token will automatically be reversed. We'll remove the CNAME record we added and restore your backed up A records. Your DNS setup will go back to what it was before QuickCloud. If you don't intend to use QuickCloud at all anymore, remember to delete the API token in your Cloudflare account. Navigate to My Profile, then API Tokens. Click the menu icon on your API token and click Delete. In conclusion, QuickCloud's new Cloudflare integration tool makes it easier for you to try our CDN with no risk. You get a simpler setup, immediate SSL coverage when the CDN is enabled, automatic changes to your DNS whenever you update CDN settings, and the easiest offboarding ever. Simply press a button to put everything back to the way it was before you tried QuickCloud. We hope you give Cloudflare integration a try. If you need more information about any of this, please see the resources in the video description. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. See you next time!